Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dustfingers and today we're going to be going over a tool that I use to run my games online called Above VTT. Now I recently discovered this tool so I may not be using all of its capabilities to its fullest but it was too good to not share it. So let's jump into it. Above VTT is a community created virtual tabletop that sits on top of D&D Beyond. It is done via a Chrome extension that can be installed using the link below. I'll also link it right up here. So as we get into it, what makes this special? Well, first of all, it's a Chrome extension, which means that anyone can use it. Second of all, it uses everything that you already own in D&D Beyond. And third and finally, it provides combat tracking that can be shared with your players. So let's show, see how it looks. First off, you're gonna go into one of your campaigns. Now, in order to use this as a DM, you must be the DM of the campaign and your players must be the players. You can see now that we have above VTT, it's this little extension right up here. There are instructions and join as DM. Now, here we click join as DM. You're gonna see this loads our encounter builder. Now, one of the downsides of using this tool is that it does not preload the encounters you have set up in D&D Beyond. So you'll have to reset those up here. So let's jump into some of the great things about this tool. First off, we have a whole load of preloaded maps. This is incredible. If you're like me, you spend a ton, a ton, a ton of time looking for maps. I believe all these maps were brought with uh, the full consent of their of the creators, which is great because you're no, you're not stealing maps, you're not taking money, um, and it all comes from a good place. So now you can't search these maps, but you can check each one of them. Uh, Sezepuku and Neutral Party actually subscribe to both of these Patreons. Highly recommend them. I'll put them down in the chat as well. And you can see we have all these different maps. So let's go ahead and just pick one. All right. Uh, is this a video? Nope. Uh, is this is there a different map for the DM? No. And we're going to call this Random Encounter. Now we're going to use the Grid and Scale Super Mega Wizard. This is just the default scale. Now, in order to go over to this, you're going to click on DM. This moves your view, the DM, not the player, to this encounter. It will let you do some building without your players being there. You can see I have my players currently on neutral party maps 81. So first things first, we need to get our players on this map. Now, how hard is it that you ask? Very easy. You're going to click on token for each of your characters. Really easy, right? And you can see them all get put right here. Now, unlike roll 20, there is no snap to grid. There is no dynamic lighting. There are a lot of features that are missing as compared to some of the more full featured virtual tabletops, but this keeps it all in one place. Cont holding control and zooming will bring it in. You see the health live as well as the AC. So no more asking, does that hit your AC? Some people like that, but it's a quick way to manage it. Next, we need to add our encounter. So I recently made a sand shark encounter and I think I used clam shell sharks. Let's see, let's just search up shark. Shell shark, that's what I used. And we just add in as many as we want. So we're gonna add in one, two, three for this party. And you can see it actually uses the token and image that comes from D&D Beyond. Now, shell sharks don't have an image, but let's say I really want to challenge my players and give them a Tarrasque. Well, I add in the Tarrasque. You can see it auto scales up based on the size of the creature, a really nice feature. You can give it conditions, markers, notes, affect its AC, and add it to a contract tracker, as well as looking at the stat block that pops up in a little side window here. Really, really nice. Now, we need to start this fight. Let's get rid of this Tarrasque. These players are level three and not ready for that. We're gonna highlight all of them. Just click and drag, right click, add to combat tracker. Now, if we look in combat, we can see that initiative was automatically rolled for all three of the sharks. Now, I personally like to roll initiative for the creatures and give them all the same initiative just from a management standpoint. And when your players roll initiative, it will actually auto fill here. They also will see this. Now, I don't know if they see the health. I will have to check on that later, but they will see the initiative order. And when you're running a big campaign, having people know what to do and what's on deck is really useful. There are also these three tokens next to each character. Find token, which will just blink it and center it. Delete, which will remove them from combat, and open sheet. And this is where we get a little view of their character. It's really helpful if you're just trying to reference something, look at one of their spells. And for your characters, they have the same option. It's all built in. They can just look at their character tracker like that. Now, let's say we're done with combat. We remove everyone. I think we can actually just reset this and clear it. Done with combat. We can simply highlight, click delete, remove them. 
You can add animated map sounds if you would like. And that is just about it for this above VTT quick tutorial. Again, I'm not using everything in this as, as fully as I could, but I, it was so incredible, I couldn't wait to get it out there. Now, one last thing I did want to show, you can group things and move them, you can rotate them. Um, if you hold shift, they rotate in clicks. And you can even use animated maps. There's a set of them already loaded for YouTube. So let's say we imported this map and saved it. We can now go to our third one. And we can both hear the music. There is kind of this spooky overtone of it. And we can see that there's this slight effect actually on the map, this fog is moving. Really cool to add animated things to your combat. It's just one of those extra things to give your players. Uh, there is fog of war. However, the reason I didn't really mention it is because you manually have to draw and remove it. And I just personally find that cumbersome. Uh, you can also do these AOE marks uh, for your spells and things. Let me see if I can get one drawn on here. Uh, looks like that is not working for the time being or is not working how I imagine. So that is it for this chat. As I learn more, oh, there we go. We actually got the AOE on there. Uh, I think it just dropped it in. So that is all for this uh, quick YouTube video. Thank you so much. If you like it, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Again, I've been Dustfingers. Thank you.